which means terra nullius, we don't want to talk about it. I'm not interested. And any Latin term in international law, don't bother us. Isn't that interesting? I've written a 12,000 word paper on that, and it's been accepted for publication at the University of Hawaii. And already, people are responding to that presentation of mine, and they're all ignoring the arbitration decision of going to China and making nice. So the, the English view of international law is largely finished, and you can't let it apply here. But this is a relationship between a foreign country and the sovereignty is already here. It's international law that applies, and they say you have to obey Roman law, you don't. Mm. Okay. 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 Um, can, I, do, can I just add, yeah, um, can I just add one thing in relation to these pitfalls here and what Gary's just said? Um, the Queen has caused enormous problems right now in Australia because when we sent stuff over to her in 2013, signed by the elders, and we declared um, sovereignty and, and the uh, unilateral declaration of independence within our country, she made a, um, a created a very difficult problem for the Australian government because she wrote back to me as the head of state of the Uali nation, right? And the correspondence I've had since from the Prime Minister to the Premier of New South Wales and the Minister for Aboriginal Affairs, they now address me as head of state in their correspondence. And so the Queen has created this enormous problem for them. And you're right, it's now the question of making us create our own pathway here now to taking back that which is ours and work with countries like China and Russia. And um, so we need to avoid these pitfalls that, that um, Serene's talking about.